Am I the asshole? For telling my parents they have to pay for my wedding. I have 28 I'm getting married to a pretty great guy. He is teacher and he is very happy with his decision to become a teacher. I work for a tech company and we do pretty well financially. We have been together for 4 years and have finally decided to get married. His parents bear happy and mine are overjoyed. One small wrinkle is that my parents expect us to have a massive church wedding with a few hundred guests. We were thinking Jamaica this summer during his time off. We are willing to do what my parents want but I am unwilling to foot the bill. My mom and I met with a wedding planner for an estimate. $35-$45,000 If we go to the resort we have picked out it will cost like $10,000. And that includes paying for his parents, and nephew to join us. My parents know how much money I earn and are insisting that I pay for the wedding myself. We have been very clear. If they wanted to show off to their friends they can pay for it. We even volunteered to throw in the money we would have spent on my in-laws for the destination wedding we want. My mom says I'm being an asshole by denying her the chance to see her only daughter married in front of friends and family. I'm not. I'm just not willing to pay for it. My parents can afford to pay for the wedding. It might just mean putting off replacing their car this year. Not the asshole. If they want the $40,000 wedding, then they pay for it. Otherwise, stick to your $10,000 plan. In fact, do that anyway. That's what you and partner want, and this is your wedding. Not the asshole. If it's that important to your parents, they can pay for it. But beware of any strings that might come along with them footing the bill. Not the asshole. Your mom can have the wedding she pays for. You don't want a wedding, she does. You want to go to Jamaica. It's your money, mom doesn't get to tell you how to spend it. Best wishes on your upcoming Jamaican wedding or honeymoon. Mom either comes to the wedding or she doesn't. No one is entitled to a wedding on someone else's dime. Not the asshole this is why I eloped lol. Honestly the audacity of your mother to expect a wedding you don't want and also not want to pay for it is astounding. Do what makes you happy. Don't back down on this. My mom says I'm being an asshole by denying her the chance to see her only daughter married in front of friends and family. Not the asshole. Your parents your mom specifically are trying to force you to make their wedding dream a reality. That's really weird. I'm with you, if they really want that, they can foot the billets for their friends anyway. It's your wedding, you get to decide where and how you want to do it. Congratulations. Based on the title alone, I was so ready to say YTA but this is a clear cut not the asshole you're willing to pay for what you want if parents want more, then it should be on them to finance it. If they refuse to do so, then they have no say. It's that simple really. Oh, and there's also this tiny detail that it's your wedding, not theirs. Not the asshole. Do the wedding you want to do. Don't feel pressured to have their wedding even if they do agree to foot the bill. Not the asshole. Your wedding, your budget. If they want something different they need to pay for it. Not the asshole this is why I eloped lol. Honestly the audacity of your mother to expect a wedding you don't want and also not want to pay for it is astounding. Do what makes you happy. Stick to your guns on this. Not the asshole. If they want the big wedding, they have to pay for it. Not the asshole. When they make such demands, it s on them to contribute their fair share. Not the asshole. Your parents are being ridiculous thinking they have a say in your wedding. If they paid, you shouldn't give in and do their vision. Friends and family aren't as invested in witnessing your wedding as your parents may think. Do it your way with your money. Not the asshole. One of my biggest regrets was letting my mother have too much control over my wedding. Have the wedding you want to have. Not the asshole. The fact you are willing to pay for the wedding on your own terms, but they won't accept it as shitty enough as is, but the fact that they want an extravagant wedding but want you to pay for it out of pocket is super selfish. It seems like they see the wedding as more about them than anything else. Just do the wedding you want to do. Nope not the asshole. Her pocketbook. I'd go with what you want. If your mom wants something else she can throw a party for herself. Not the asshole. If your mom wants to spend that much on a wedding, she can renew her own vows, not make demands, or dictate how you want to say yours. The only AH move you made is even considering it at all. You simply tell them we are paying for the wedding we want, where we want it. End of discussion. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If they want to make the wedding about them then they can foot the bill. If not, I'd say go with your plans in Jamaica. 
not the asshole but you don't want them to pay for your wedding. Have the wedding you want and don't let them near the planning. If they pay, then they are going to dictate exactly how the wedding is. With their money you might as well check out of planning and just be surprised on your wedding day. Not the asshole if they want the big wedding, they pay for it. Simple enough. If not, then they have no say in what you do with your money. When I was getting married, my grandmother tried pulling that with me we went to this cousin's wedding they need to be invited doesn't matter. Not the asshole. If they want a big wedding then they need to pay for it. Not the asshole. I planned a small wedding, my mom wanted a bigger one. I told her she could pay. She called my damned bluff, but she paid and I had a larger wedding. You shouldn't pay for her dreams on your day. Not the asshole. You should sew your wedding your way. Not the asshole go to Jamaica. They can join you or not. Not the asshole. Emo your mother's wedding sounds awful, but if you are willing to have your wedding be for her, yeah she should pay for it. Not the asshole if they want it and can afford it then they can and should pay for it. You don't want this they do. Not the asshole you wanted something within your budget and she wants a cast of thousands extravaganza. They who want, pay. There's no reason for you to go into debt and cripple your future financial status so she can play mob in a massive spectacle. Weddings are supposed to be about the people getting married, not funding the local economy for an entire year. Not the asshole. Best way for them to learn. If they want a specific and very expensive wedding that is in no way what you want, the bill is on them. It's your wedding, you plan it, you pay for it. Your parents don't really get a vote. Not the asshole. I was very ready to give a different judgment based on your title. But nope if your parents want a certain wedding, one that you don't but are willing to accept, they can pay up to you parents know this is meant to be about you and your fiancé and not them? Not the asshole. If they want that, they can pay for it good luck. Not the asshole. It's a compromise. You're willing to pay for the wedding you want. You're not willing to pay for the wedding they want. If you're going to acquiesce to what they want, then they must pay for it. Seems perfectly reasonable to me. Good for you. There are few who can draw a boundary like this I can't imagine the depth of manipulation, and selfishness, she's flowing out of her. Hold your ground. Not the asshole if they want X, they should pay for X. Not the asshole. I am a teacher and my husband works in tech, so it seems like our situations are similar. We were married in Vegas and paid for everything up front. We had family and a few friends there as well. If your mom wants that wedding, she should pay for it. Titles can be so deceiving. Just reading the title, I was saying to myself of course this person is the ah, but you are absolutely not the asshole. This is your wedding. Personally I think you should do it up the way you want. However, if you are truly willing to have your wedding the way your mom wants, your parents should absolutely foot the bill, I don't care if it's $3,500 or $35,000, honestly. If you are having a wedding to appease someone else, then they should be responsible for making it happen. Not the asshole, hilariously clear cut. Not the asshole you've been more than willing to compromise, even though it's your wedding. If parents want a big church wedding they need to pay up. Never understand one day being that much money. Such a waste. Not the asshole. Not the asshole your wedding, your money, your choice. The only choice mom gets is if she wants to be a guest or not. Not the asshole. You're adults so just go get married. When your parent got married, how much it cost and where they had the wedding was their decision. Now it is not. Not the asshole go to Jamaica and have the wedding you want. Not the asshole. Fuck I was so ready to label you a bridezilla from the title but lord. Nah. Be ultra petty, get married in the smaller possible place you can, or at your local town hall registrar's office. Save the money, spend it on your honeymoon future together. If they want their daughter to have a massive, fancy wedding then they can pay for it. Not the asshole. But why make this into a negotiation when you can just stand up for yourself and do what you want? Not the asshole, you're right, if they want input they need to pay dollar. LOL, from just reading the title I was ready to side with your parents. I'm happy I read the post because I was absolutely wrong. Not the asshole. You guys are willing to pay for the wedding you want. If they want to make a day, that's about you and your future husband, about them and showing off to their friends they should pay for it. I never understood why family members think they can dictate how someone else spends their special day. Please do not do the wedding their way and pay for it. If you do they will try to control future decisions as well.
not the asshole I personally would just go to Jamaica because it's not worth the hassle. You are being overly generous by compromising with them about the wedding as it is. If they want a big to do, they can pay for it. Not the asshole. Parents want big wedding for tradition's sake, then parents pay for big wedding out of tradition. That would be their job then. Simple as that. Not the asshole. You pay your choice. Nothing to feel bad about. They pay they can do whatever they want. Not the asshole I read the title and thought Ong here we go another entitled child, but absolutely not, if she wants it, she pays for it, simple. Not the asshole. This is one of the reasons I threw a surprise wedding no one even had the chance to share their opinion about it. I was prepared to say you after reading this not the asshole. You are paying for it, do not go into deep debt for a wedding. The few people I know who did, ending up regretting it. They used credit charged it and it was great until the wedding was over and that bill came every month. Do what makes you happy. Not the asshole at all. I would warn you though that I've had friends price destination weddings and they've ended up being vastly higher than they were originally quoted, just as a heads up. I was ready to call you DA when I started reading this, smiley face. You are so not the asshole. But your parents are. I was so ready to go against you but not the asshole if they want a huge wedding with all the trimmings then yes, they cannot for it Jamaica sounds way better though. Not the asshole. Was expecting an entitled bridezilla based on the title. If they want the party, they pay for the party, it's just that simple. I think it's insane obscene to even consider spending that much money on a wedding, let alone insisting that someone else should pay for it. Not the asshole but the fact you would even consider not having the wedding you want. Just because your parents want it a certain way is honestly baffling. How does your fiancé feel about this? A destination wedding to Jamaica sounds so much more wonderful than a church wedding, which in my opinion is the type of wedding our SVP no do anyway.